Hey gang, Melissa here, and holy cow, as I said on my other channel, um, I've missed you guys, and sorry I've been away for so long, I know I said that before, but it's been a little crazy the last couple weeks, and <laughs> I'm not trying to give excuses, but it has been. So, if, but if you do want the excuses, I'll link the video from my other channel, that way you can hear all the excuses. But, um... I wanted to, uh, I'm going to do several videos. First of all, I just got done filming Cocktails and Mail on my other channel, and so there's going to be cocktails and couponage on this channel. Um, I wanted to show you a quick haul, but I also wanted to share with you the nitty gritty of couponing because I had these thoughts the other day and I wanted to share them with you, especially if you're new to couponing. And I roll my eyes because it's just, it's ridiculous, it's dumb. If you have been a couponer for a while, you probably have already experienced what I'm about to tell you. But just, just wanted to cover a couple of things. Um, so the other day, first of all, by the way, thank you for everybody who has subscribed and you are a new subscriber and you are watching. I do appreciate your time. I am behind on emails and I apologize for that. It, it's been a crazy few weeks. I know that's not a good excuse, but it, it has been and that's the honest truth of it. Um, but I am catching up and hopefully when I'm caught up, you will not have a delay um, as there has been here in the last couple of weeks. But I, I really appreciate your time. Thank you, I, I really do. Um, but on to <laughs> what I wanted to talk to you about. So there I was. I was in Target the other day. And I am buying the new Hershey candy that has come out, the Delights. Because Target had a $1 off coupon. And then the Sunday paper had a $2 off coupon. So they were priced at $2.99 if you use both of those coupons, you get it for free. They actually pay you a penny to take it out of the store. So I didn't clear the shelf. I bought about six or eight of them and there were some left. And one of the ladies who worked there um, felt it necessary to come up to me and go, oh, I hope you know that the coupon policy is changing. And I said, oh no, I'm sorry, I wasn't aware of that. Because actually, I am normally very aware of coupon policies as I keep them in my binder uh, to be informed. And she's like, yeah, they set limits on things and they're no longer going to be doing multiple transactions. And I said, okay. I said, um, well, I guess, unfortunately, they're going to have some stuff to put away. Because I had the Hershey's, but I also had six bags of dog food because um, it was buy two and get a $5 gift card plus I had coupons. So I had six, you know, big bags of dog food. And I said, oh, I said, that's too bad. I said, because I guess they're going to have some stuff to put away. Um, but I wasn't rude because that's just not my style normally, unless I'm forced to be rude and then I will be. But uh, you got to be rude to me first and before I give it to you. That's not the point, is it? So I went up to the cashier and I went to check out and of course my transactions, plural, went through flawlessly. Multiple transactions, she didn't say anything. And my point of telling you is if you are new to couponing, I want you to know a few things so you don't get blindsided. You are going to run into those people that work at wherever, Target, Publix, blah, blah, blah. Actually, Publix is the only place that I haven't had somebody be rude to me. That it's almost like it's, it's personal to them that you're getting things either very cheaply or for free. I don't know why, because it's not coming out of their pocket. Um, some cashiers are going to be rude to you. They're going to be annoyed that you use multiple coupons in several transactions. And I don't understand why. Because um, they're a cashier. That's your job. That is your J-O-B is to check me out and scan my coupons. And I say that because I have worked at Target before. I have worked as a assistant manager and I also used to check people out. I used to check people out. 
I don't understand why some cashiers take it so personally that you have coupons and you're getting things for a really great price. But I want you to know that that's going to happen. So I don't want you to be surprised. Some of the things that I have done to offset that, when I get into a line, I will, first of all, I'm never rude. I'm not. Um, just because uh, I'm one of those killing with kindness. I will kill you with kindness all day long because I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of thinking you ever got to me. Um, yeah, because that's just, because <laughs> that's how I am. But uh, when I get in line and I know I have either multiple transactions or a plethora of coupons, I will say, hey, I hope you're feeling patient today because I'm one of those crazy people with coupons. And normally that will disarm them ASAP. That will disarm them right away. Also, if you get somebody in a line behind you, let them know, hey, how you doing? I uh, just want to let you know I'm one of those people with a lot of coupons. So you may be waiting here a while. I just wanted to give you a little warning. And uh, that, uh, that has not backfired on me yet. It has not. Um, and you may be more shy, and if you're not comfortable doing that, that's okay, and that's fine. But I just want to let you know, if you are new to couponing, you may run into those people that for some reason it's just offensive to them. I don't know why. I don't know why. Is it because they feel like you're cheating the system, which you're not? Is it because they feel like they can't do it themselves, which they can. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I, I don't know, but it's just always this very interesting thing to me. And when it happens, of course, I come home and tell my husband and I'm like, oh, you are not going to believe the coupon drama I had today. Uh, but it doesn't bother me. I mean, it takes <laughs> really a lot to offend me or to bother me. So I kind of find it a little humorous. Because really, I'm getting stuff for free or super cheap. Um, the only time, uh, you know, and I won't sit there and fight a cashier. I, I won't fight in an ugly way. But if it's something that I know that she just doesn't know what she's talking about, and this did happen to me the other day, I, uh, the Glade Expressions, um, it's an air freshener, it's $2.99, and I had coupons for $3 off. And then I also had a coupon for one for free. And so she scanned the one for free, and then she took the other coupons, um, and she saw that in the picture of the coupon, there was three of them. She wasn't reading the words. She was looking at the picture. She stopped and she said, oh, you need to buy two more to use this. And I said, I don't understand. And she goes, well, you already used your free one for the other one. But these ones, you need to buy three more to use this. And I said, and I played dumb. I'll be honest. I played dumb. I said, I don't understand. I said, I know there's a picture of three. I said, but it says on one. And so she finally looked at it and she went, oh, never mind. Uh, so, uh, you know, I could have been crappy. I could have been, but it, it doesn't get you anywhere. For me, it doesn't. And so I just was like, oh, and then she saw it and then she got it. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, oh, no big deal. I said, I know it's kind of confusing. And, you know, and there are those people that are out there that abuse coupons. And I'm sure that they are looking out for those people. And I get that. But um, I'm not because I'm not shady and I do it right. So it went through and it was fine, but I, I just wanted you to know that I don't want you to be surprised, um, you know, and so what if the cashier has an issue with you? I'm sorry, I used to be a cashier, I get it. You know, that's your job, that's your J-O-B. You know, scan the stuff, scan the coupons to be done with it. Why are you having a problem with me? That is your job is to sit there and check people out. I don't know why you're pissed off about it. I don't get it. But um, I just didn't want you to be surprised. So I was going to show you, uh, I am going to show you my transaction. I, I did pretty well. And um, the bottom dollar I will have on the screen because off the top of my head and when I filmed it, I didn't know the bottom dollar on it. But did pretty well. And, you know, these deals are out there for you too. And I want you to know that, you know, you can get them too. And uh, in the long run, it saves a lot. And it helps. in this economy and these times, you know, it does help. So don't get frustrated. And please, if you have any questions, please email me, please message me, please comment. So I hope you guys are having a great day and thanks so much. I am going to go ahead and show you. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. There you go. 
Uh, I'll just scroll up real quick. That's just toilet paper. That's all that is. So I wanted to show you this just to kind of break down for you what I spent, how I spent it, you know, the coupons that were applied and just kind of walk through it with you real quick. Um, and I'll put the total that I spent on the screen as you're watching because I haven't added it up yet, but uh, I know I really feel like I did really well this week. There were really good sales this week. I'm going to say that the sales this week and last week were probably better than most weeks, but um, which is why I stocked up so much. So I'm just going to go through it real quick. Um, the Yakisoba right here at Publix were buy one, get one free. And I had 50 cents off of one for each one of these. And my Publix, what they do is they double. So I made 50 cents on each of these because my Publix here in Nashville, they give us the overage. And what the overage is, is if there's 50 cents extra that I made on this, they let me apply it to other groceries. So, which is great. So you can buy meat or produce or whatever. So all of these I made 50 cents a piece on. Um, the Ken's, they were two for a dollar and I had a dollar off of two. So I ended up paying 50 cents on these. And these are things that are not expiring until well into 2013. You don't have to worry about them going bad. Same with these. These are uh, 2013 as well. Don't have to worry about them going bad. Oil was buy one, get one free. I had 50 cent coupons, which they doubled. Um, the Old El Paso buy one get one free I had 50 cent coupons which they doubled uh, the ramen noodles here this was actually used at Walgreens for a filler and uh, I'll explain that in just a second the Biore was purchased at Walgreens I had buy one get one free plus they gave a five dollar register reward which is store credit um, the dentist sticks were buy one get one free I had a dollar off of one so and it, up getting those for an excellent price as well. Um, going over here to the other side, the toilet paper. When you can find a great deal on toilet paper, you better stock up because they don't come around that often. And when you're doing the couponing thing, I know a lot of people are really brand specific, but you have to be willing to bend a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna go and buy Scott paper towels because, or I'm sorry, Scott toilet paper because they're horrific in one ply, but Cottonelle, it's good toilet paper, it's two ply, it's a good brand, and they always have deals and coupons. So with my coupons, I ended up paying $1.50 for some of them and $2.50 for some of the other ones. Um, I had, at Walgreens, they were $5.00. And then there was a Walgreens coupon where it took a dollar off for a Walgreens coupon. They allow you to also use a manufacturer coupon with a Walgreens coupon. So I had some $1 off coupons and then I had some 50 cent off coupons. So depending on the deal, I paid between $150 and $250 a pack. Um, also, when you purchase them, they gave you a register reward, which was store credit. And you could use that to purchase other things in the store, like this, for example. Um, this was on sale for $3.99, and you got a $3 register reward back. But I had $2 off coupons, so I made a dollar on each of these bottles of uh, the Crest Pro Health. Um, so. I would use this register reward to purchase this and I went back and forth with multiple transactions to keep rolling the deal over and keep repeating it over and over again. Uh, more of these, these were uh, free. They were at Target for $2.99, I had $3 off coupons, so they were absolutely free. Uh, these, all of these were free, there was $2 manufacturer coupons and $1 off Target coupons. Um, and you're allowed to use both of them, so all of these were free. These were pennies on the dollar. Um, I got these at Publix. They were buy one, get one free. I had 50 cent coupons, which they doubled to a dollar. Um, so they were relatively cheap. And this is, uh, again, this is why you carry your binder with you, because the Pop-Tarts, I found these. They were originally $1.99. They were clearance out for 98 cents. And I had um, $1 off of three boxes coupon. So I ended up getting three boxes of those. Um, the Hunts I had no coupon for, 
but they're buy one get one free at Publix and the Hunt's Plain Tomato Sauce I use it all the time That is because I make homemade sauce all the time and that is what I use. The Go Go Squeeze they were buy one get one free at Publix. I had a dollar off. I only had one so that's why you only see one there. And these also, um, these were at Walgreens also. When you bought two of these items you got a dollar off, or not a dollar off, you got a dollar register reward and then I had a dollar off of each of them coupons so it ended up being a really good deal. And again, I'm going to put, oh, not last, but certainly not least, these. This is another reason why you want to clip every single solitary coupon that comes out. Because whether this is an item you're going to use or not, you are crazy not to get this. And here's why. Um, Target had a really great deal. It's still running until mid-October sometime. And I'll, I'll put the exact date on the screen somewhere. When you buy three of these items you get a five dollar gift card well also there were two dollar coupons in the paper for these so for every three I bought which were I want to say 289 I had two dollar coupons off each and then I got a five dollar gift card I ended up making a dollar fifty if not two dollars depending on what tax you pay on each set of three of these so even if you're not going to use those items, which actually I will use, they don't expire, I will end up using these. I'm stocked up for a while now. Um, you know, we'll end up having a baby in a year, and I'll, that'll come in real handy for that uh, after time. But even if you don't use them, you are crazy not to purchase these and even donate them if you have to, because they're paying you $1.50 plus some to take them out of the store. It's an amazing moneymaker, just like the Yakisoba noodles which actually our family will use. My girls will eat them. Um, I'll eat them. What am I saying? But um, so there's definitely, I mean, there's realistic things. I hear so often that, well, you can only get coupons for stuff you don't really use. We eat tacos. We eat spaghetti sauce, even though there wasn't coupons for those. My girls eat Pop-Tarts. You know, I'll use these. Definitely toilet paper. Oh, my God, everybody uses toilet paper. The noodles we use, the dressing that we'll use. And there's even, like, light dressing. So even if you don't want the full fat dressing, you know, we definitely use those as well. But I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of how I'm applying the coupons with the sales and breaking so, it down So thank you so you. much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Uh, if you don't subscribe already, please subscribe. I would love it if you would. And if not, that's cool. Just uh, check back in. And we'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, have a great day, night, whatever. All right, bye.